Hello and welcome to the Nexus for the Fast and Furious build, the Dodge Charger. We're on issue 3 and we are now obviously back on this, so this is good. Uh, this is the parts we get with issue 3, there's quite a lot there actually. You can see the size of it. So, let's get going. Okay, so first parts that we are going to be fitting are the lights. So we need this section here, which is plastic. We also need the headlight coverings, which are these parts just here. We need them. Obviously they will uh, at some point light up as they've got holes in the back. We also need these lenses out as well because it goes into sort of, sort of three stages so there's one two three four and we need these as well i'm just going to put this to the side for a minute okay so this is the front of the car so what we need to do is concentrate on the back we take the lens here that sits in just like so we then take these sections here and uh, they go in uh, a certain way, like so. So they're a little bit off sectioned, just like so. And this over the top, like that. And we're going to do the same the opposite side as well. We are just going to do that, like so, then once again get these going up a, uh, a certain way, like that, and that one's like that, and then what we're going to do is we need some BP screws. And we're going to screw them just on the ends of each side here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've done that, as you can see. Nice and secure in. We're now going to take our front grille here. And that is going to be placed just there. And we need some AP screws. So uh, AP screw here and there. I'm going to do okay, so that was straightforward. There it is, right in there, the grille. Uh, we've got two screws in the back there which is nice uh, we're now going to grab our front grid so this this section just here uh, I'm just gonna make sure yep so that's like so that's the front there so it needs to be this side here so we need the badge as well so here's the badge there is a uh, sort of a silhouette there as you can see and then this just gets uh, just gets pushed in. But I don't want to uh, break or bend any of this, but I know it's going to be a push fit. So there we go, like that, and that is very very secure in there. We also now need our front covering as well and what we're going to do is we're going to place this now so this is the bottom and as you can see there is a little indentation on the top there so what we're going to do we're going to place this on here like so and obviously this is upside down I'm just going to place that on there and then this over the top like so and we're going to secure this down with AP screws into these slots just here and just at the bottom here as well so just one here 
Um, I do believe there's another one just here. So these raised sections just here are going to get uh, some screws put in. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, there it is. All nicely and secure. It looks really, really nice. Um, yeah. Now, on the magazine, it doesn't explain too well uh, on the screws. I'm going to try and... Uh, Just um, zoom up here. I don't know if you can uh, make it out. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can get some light on like that. Um, so it screws in from the bottom in these two holes just here. And at the top, it screws into the top two holes. Now, there is one that I've left off, and that is this one here. Then there is a hole here, and you, you're supposed to put a screw, but I can't get it in because of this section just here. So, um, yeah. So as you can see, there's a little hole there, but uh, as you go flush, it covers the hole, meaning, if I can grab my uh, screwdriver, it sits at an angle, and you don't want that because that could thread the hole or something. And I don't want to break any of this. Uh, it, it doesn't really need it. It's secured in place, just like so. It doesn't really need it at all. But I thought I'd just, uh, I'd just show you that anyway. So now we're going to be doing the bottom part of the uh, bit now. And this bit is die cast. So that's good. We're going to be fitting in the, uh, the lights at the bottom here. So we need all of these uh, sort of sections just here. So we've got a lens covering. Uh, these are not lit. These aren't. So these, these sections here do not light up. So I'm just trying to get the sections out now. I've got them out before <laughs> uh, anyway so these are orange now on the actual magazine I'm going to show you this magazine you can see that they're red uh, now I'm wondering whether they actually are orange and it just looks red by the way the color is but um, anyway so what we're going to do this is the uh, the bottom part so our covering goes in first like so then the lens, like so, we'll just throw it out, <laughs> uh, then that one goes in there, this goes over the top, like so, and we're going to do the same on the opposite side as well, same on that side, and we're going to use um, DM screws to secure them in place, so these are our DM screws so we're going to use one each side on this side and then we're going to do the opposite side as well okay so we've done that as you can see just like that. now what we're going to do is we're going to secure in place so this just sits just like this and you can see why now we don't screw into them ones we're going to use some uh, CP screws which are just here and we're going to secure this bottom section in place. And there we are. All in, all nicely secured in place. Just there, as you can see that. Yeah, really, really, really nice. Very impressive. Um, like I said, the bottom half here is die cast, but uh, the rest of this is plastic. Uh, take what you will of that. Uh, but that is issue three. Uh, obviously, it doesn't tell you what comes in issue four, but remember to keep subscribing to the Nexus. Uh, like, follow, share, whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll be doing issue four in the next video, but uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next video.